The system that has been installed is called a pressure relief system. The wall is continuing to come in. There's something wrong. Pressure relief system is supposed to relieve this kind of pressure. The width of this trench is telling me that it may not have been done properly. The trench needs to be 10 inches beyond the footer to the bottom of the footer. I'm not saying anything. Okay. They used a six inch piece of mirror drain, two inches on the bottom, four inches up. It looks like the job was done properly, but this is not. I can't say enough how important weep holes are. Bottom block right out. The mortar sits at the bottom of blocks for too long. This is cinder block. This is cinder once upon a time was a cinder block. This is what happens when mortar sits at the bottom of blocks for too long. A weep hole on the motor joint. They missed this one. They missed this one. Every weep hole has to be drilled, especially when you've got a wall that's moving. This trench is maybe five inches beyond the footer. This trench should be 10 inches beyond the footer, and this PVC pipe has no business being in that hole. This is the type of piping that was installed. This is the type of pipe the company who did this job told the customer they were getting. Three inch PVC cannot handle the volume of water when you have a situation like this. A contractor will cut corners by using inferior product. This trench is not wide enough. This trench should really be out here, which is double the amount of work. The contractor wants to cut corners and get the job done half the time. Well, he just does half the work. Gets himself some three inch PVC pipe, puts a very narrow trench in, dummies his mirror drain, makes it look like getting what you paid for when you're not cutting corners, cutting corners, cutting corners. Uh, this is filter paper. See the mud, the dirt build up in it? It's clogging the filter. It's not allowing the water to get through. Anyone who owns an automobile, your oil filter, gas filter, air filter, they get clogged. Those filters have to be changed out. Can't come in and break up the concrete to change out a filter in one of these systems when it gets clogged. This is where they've stopped the pipe right here. And this is where they've stopped the pipe over here. How can this possibly be a continuous system? Where's the water supposed to flow? The trench was deeper the way it's supposed to be. You'd be able to go underneath this and get a proper flow. Any kind of piping needs to have a way to get into the pump. There's no pipe entering this crop from anywhere. Get that get down in here. See this here? That's the end of the pipe. What the hell is that? The water is not getting into the system fast enough, into the crock fast enough, and getting pumped out fast enough. It's still building up, and that's why the wall is continually being pushed in. This is the proper width of a trench. Minimum 10 inches. Spade shovel is roughly 9 inches wide. Spade shovel needs to fit in there. This is the width of the trench that was put in. It's about this wide. They didn't go wide enough. They did not go deep enough. This is where they installed their pipe. Down here is where the water is. They just dug out this little section, and I got all of this water coming in from outside. All of this water is sitting outside, pushing on this wall, lateral pressure. This is supposed to be a pressure relief system. When you install a 3-inch pipe, PVC, not deep enough, not wide enough, it cannot do its job. The homeowner was told this is how the job is supposed to be done. This is what they got. The company that did this job will not warranty it because they say they don't have a wall warranty. If they did the job properly in the first place, this will not happen.